We gotta get there first. Someone's getting thrown into a table during Royal Rumble. That is I absolutely true. That, but we're gonna jump into this next set. We got Leon fighting off against Juice, both upsetting their opponents. You know, Leon taking out the likes of Nairo, three to one, using Bowser of all characters. Nairo's old like side pocket character from Smash Four. And then you got uh, Juice over here. He used to be playing Zero Suit Samus back in the Smash 4 days. Now rocking the Falco. And he hasn't been entering as many tournaments as you think, but he is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, entering deep wow. into the pockets for this Falco. I'm very interested to see how it works. I guess with Zero Suit, a lot of the combo game is built much more around that aerial play to try to assert the ground control. But you're not taking the ground away from Leon. He's taking it right back. Center stage is his kingdom to control. And he does such a good job of doing it. I just can't believe how Leon just started that off with the heart. Like, just like, I'm just going to throw out an up smash to catch a ledge option. And Melee trying to strike fear into his opponent right off the bat to make him feel like there's an incorrect answer. And that's actually a smart decision you do when you play a character that has the kill potential of Bowser. When you look at this matchup on paper, you see Falco and you're like, oh, this is a big body. This is combo food. I wait for the whiff punish. I get my percentage. I get my edge guard. I get my handshake. But when you're playing like Leon, well, now you got to figure, well, I don't care about matchups. I got to get inside his head. I got to just rip him apart. Because then I don't care how good his combo game is. There we go. But yeah, Juice, but the thing is, Juice is already starting to rack up a ton of damage, reads the tech in. Manage the four. Tons of forward airs coming out from Falco. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage, but definitely, like, it makes the opponent, you know, put, get pushed back or that hit lag for a little bit. Could be a little frustrating, but it's probably not going to frustrate Leon that much. What doesn't kill him makes him stronger, man. Yeah, I think percentage isn't going to really be the name of the game because where Leon gets his hits, he's going to hit heavy. He's going to get his one two piece combos, and they're going to hit hard. And when Juice gets his hits, it's going to be a lot of hits, but they're going to chip the damage away. This is going to be a battle of stage control. The thing is, I, I, I felt like right there, you noticed that Leon went for a double jump super high in the air. That's because Ju uh, he thought he could avoid Juice, but Falco has one of the highest jumps in the game. He's gonna be able to catch the opponent. You see, look how high my man goes. He jumps for a reason, dude. He has hoops. This bird flies. You might not see it in his upbeat, but you'll definitely see it in those boots. Talk oh about my. those boots. We're gonna get a quick down air, take the lead. That was all set up by the laser. Uh, unlike Falco's laser, the Falco's, it, did he just <laughs> tough guy down smash out of a rapid jab? Oh, that's, Is that just what happened? Oh, that's it, baby. Screw whatever I was going to say, dog. I that's what I'm talking about. Matchups be damned. We like, swing in the streets of that's Jersey. That's Bowser. He just mashes. And that's great. It's fantastic. He needs it. 75% on juice already. He's stolen the lead off stage. Falco take out the Falco Phantasm. Tries to jump through. He's out of jumps. Tries again with the forward tilt angle blow. No way. Back throw. Get, Get him out of here. Of here. He's, he's alive. Oh, well, for how long? There's no way he's going to go off stage. Leon is playing safe. Bowser feels insanely comfortable, especially at that low percent. There's no reason to. Control that stage instead, man. Just look for the Randy forward air. He's That's trying to space it out. That stage control is so important for Leon because he doesn't need to. He waits for the kill to come to him. And with a very impressive game one, Leon starts to cement his lead as New Jersey crawls their way into this top eight. But, like, okay, so I get that this tournament is in New Jersey. But it's. Did you know this top eight is in New it's Jersey? It's Deadash, twenty minutes walking distance away to New York City. So like I, was I don't see New York I, in this top eight. I was just assuming that New York would step up. Where are all my friends? Where is New York in this bracket? Where are, why are my friends where all are dead? You guys, they're all, all my friends are dead. Okay, so like <laughs> we got. Bankai still in. And all right, they're all sitting in losers. They're all sitting in losers. And Debuzz is going to be joining them next. No way. Did Debuzz just get knocked? Yes, he did. Put into losers by King James. To all top four, the top four seeds of this tournament, the top four that be expected to get top four placings, are now all in losers bracket before top eight. This is nice. This is wonderful. This is okay. So that means Shoyo James. Moving on. Shoyo James will in fact be top eight winner semis. Fights against the winner of Jackal and Dark Wizzy. But well, here we go. Winner of this is going to move on to fight off against Wishes and Winner Samus. We've got this counter pick coming out from Juice, opting to go for Zero Suit Samus' old try and true main from Smash 4. I know a lot of players opted to not play Zero Suit Samus as much in this game because they, they, they say like she got gutted, per se. But players like Mars have definitely shown that that's not necessarily true. You just got to think about it a little bit differently. Juice but, is one oh of those. God. He's another player who stayed faithful to this character. He's done such a good job of showcasing what this character can do at a mid-level, completely dominating his local scene. But against the likes of Leon, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be another very combo-oriented character 
but I feel like a lot of Zero Suit's kid is much more acclimated for controlling stage, and that's going to be a lot more important against Leon, but it's too little too late already in this set as Leon takes a lead before really breaking 100%. There you go, racking up the damage off that one forward error, adding her to 49% off the gate. Back here's not going to be able to get the kill, but he dives off super deep for the side beat kill, using that plasma whip to its extent. Zero Suit's movement is, so, is still so good, just because her play is different from what a lot of Smash 4 viewers are used to. Don't think this character's out of, it, out of it just yet. A lot of how she controls space is actually very similar to her Brawl iteration. And while this character is still finding her footing in the meta with the likes of Juice and Mars, this is definitely a matchup that starts to turn that on its head because how well can you control space where every little mistake is met with so much percentage and no stage to speak of? It's tough. Like it allows him to be able to jump all over the place, like I said. And now Leon, you notice that Juice is playing patient, right? The second he gets flubbed, almost died for it. You saw those sparks, just one command grab from the side B. It's incredibly dangerous to shield against Flouser because he's gonna look for it and he's on the hunt for the side B. He wants the Koopa Claw. Is this going to be another upset? Is this going I, I, to be honestly, another dude, New Jersey and Suplex City, this is upset city, dog. My man, he's at 96% off the bat. Right, there's a missed input right there from Leon because he always goes for the forward air into a dash grab and the dash didn't come out. Oh, gonna punish that up B. That would have been really beautiful for Juice to, to, to land that. Up B would have killed Bowser on the edge there. But another side B coming in hot. Smashville, that platform is actually kind of benefiting Bowser. It is. Up B. Juice can't take that platform away from Leon. Leon's done such a great job of anti air. Forward air is the premier tool for calling out any type of aerial approach, and Juice has not figured out a response to it. Now Juice, 103%, literally just the, the smallest tippy, tippy, tippy touch attack could send him flying, man. My man's sitting at 117%. One grab, one stray forward air but Juice isn't gonna let him have it. See him trying to poke with the down tilt, allows him to low profile as well. He actually went for that down air, expecting Juice to try to challenge him with an up air. Goes for the side B, using the Smashville platform to his advantage, taking away game two with Bowser? Wait, yeah, he's, he's up 2-0. Yes, he with is. With Bowser yes, in winner's is. quarters. Yes, man. That's how this character is. That's how Leon is. You can't sleep. If there was ever a tournament to show you that the local talent here in Tri-State is able to swing with the best, this is art in motion. You're seeing what the bracket will call an upset. You're seeing what the crowd is calling a story. This is a reason for them to get loud. And it's only gonna get louder from here as Juice starts to hover over Corrin. I don't wanna see it. All right, good. I wanna see the Zero Suit. I like I'd that be, Zero I'd be okay with the Corrin pick, you know? Uh, with Corrin, you got a lot of projectiles to try to like keep Bowser at bay. It's hard for Bowser to try to get any approach. Robin does extremely well against heavies, but maybe he doesn't feel he doesn't feel it, wants to take him to Battlefield instead of get those tri plats around, allows her to be able to dance around. I think Smashville wasn't the correct uh, option against the likes of Bowser. I think this is a smart option as well, mostly because Juice's style of play is going to allow him to control the base platform by just denying it from Leon. If he can get his combos started, a lot of those aerially oriented combos are going to be Juice bouncing back and forth up the platforms, and we're gonna see plenty of that. If you watched a lot of Smash 4, we're back in the classics. Plenty of laddering to be done on this stage. And Juice is going ham right now, hold on a second. All right, look up, what, this is a different player. Honestly, caught him with the up air off the top platform, able to air dodge away from oh, it. The that's damage cute. is not stopping. That was cutie patootie. Barely, narrowly Yo, he avoids tried to get that one down smash. You saw, you saw like, trying to bring him back in. Whew. Another thing we're starting to see out of Juice here in this game is that we're seeing a lot more Sarah approach, and I think that's a brilliant move. Juice needs to take advantage of his longer disjoints to try and contest forward air and back air from Bowser because he can't afford for it to get caught out of the sky anymore. Especially as these percentages continue to climb so consistently and once again off the top plat. But Leon taking the lead in the stocks. Is on the, the shoe's on the other foot now. You know, you got Leon doing it this time around, but he's now sitting at 125% off stage. Ledge pressure. He just kind of gate gave up the control to him a little bit. He saw him a far away backed up. I guess maybe he was expecting Leon to go for like a dash in, because that's what he's been doing a lot. This is the first time where Leon's like slowed down the tempo a bit. 
you, you notice him playing extremely more safe, a little bit more reserved. But as I say that, goes in with a very extremely risky forward air. No combos off of it though. Down tilt usually a combo star, but maybe not this high a percent. Looking for a back air, potentially. So many forward airs coming out from Leon with such good reason. They put in so much work thus far. Yo, he was looking to actually Juice. destroy his shield. Juice needs to close out the stock now. Because he has maximum rage. Almost got nicked off stage. Count his Big lucky punish? magnets, man. He almost didn't come back. Was he no. expecting a roll onto the stage? That's a, oh no. We he out! He just went for it! Honestly, we out. smart! Smart decision! You're at 170%, they're at low. Go for it! Reset that situation. Got ourselves a one stock apiece. Winner, uh, if Leon takes one more stock, man, he's going on to the top eight. Winner's side, Bowser. He's out here. Hey, goes for the up tilt. Very strong move in Bowser's repertoire. Allows him to be able to go for that out of a dash as well. Tilts are extremely strong for this character. The thing is, he can't do that. He, no. Yo, he's flying. Where's he going? They, he tried to go for like the little spike, but because he risked it and the air dodge came out, it put him in a very precarious situation where Bowser could have easily gone for the down air spike. Here we go, up airs. Ole uses double jump, tries to come down oh, with the I down don't like beat. That. Honestly, there's no way for else for him to get down, so I, I respect it. And Juice is just going to stay patient and go for the shield instead. 76 to 102. Leon's looking for a grab. Forward tilt? Almost kills him. Suspect DI. Yeah, we haven't seen forward tilt so oh, far. Oh, that's game. Right there, baby. And we're going get into around. game four. Juice not out of it just yet. And honestly, the adaptation coming out from Juice, man. That, I mean, the first two games, Leon had, was dominating. He had so much control in the matchup. And Juice turned up the heat, especially that first stock. Can we talk about that first stock again, man? Like, he was at what? 20%, 30%? But by the time Got that stock the was over. Up there. Yeah, That's it. it. Uh, getting caught by Zero Suits up air on Battlefield, just as deadly as it was in, in Smash 4. Yoshi's Island? We're going to Yoshi's Island Brawl for Game 4. This is a vile stage. Yeah, I, I, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be something, man. I mean, again, it's it very similar to Smashville in the regards of there being a platform kind of static in the middle. This time we got slants as well as walls. Walls aren't really going to help Bowser too, too much. I think but what's more important it's for is the, platform. the solo platform that we've already seen Leon is incredibly adept at controlling, but also the uneven ground is going to be a lot harder for Juice to control. It's not going to be able to allow him to land as many down smash confirms as he would like to. It's going to be a bit difficult, more difficult for him to try and contest with uh, shortened aerials, especially considering where Leon can camp, whether he's at the height of the curves or not. It's a very quirky map, but there's a very concise way on controlling it, and I feel like Bowser's tools are very well acclimated for that. All right, here we go, man. Leon chilling underneath the platform. And then he just runs up and goes for an up smash to call it the landing. Hello? Bro, you ever just want to slam someone with your shell? Honestly, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're here, dude. And he's dead. Good night. Side B, top platform. Yoshi's Island Brawl. Corner pocket. Okay, you notice that Juice is going for a lot of back airs against Leon's shield. It's a really safe uh, pressure against it. I think he uses double jump, so... Oh! Don't matter. Okay. They, they don't need they double jump where he's going. We're, we're seeing the top of this uh, blast zone, baby. Okay, oh, good spot dodge. Really cute. Seeing the down tilt out of Juice actually kind of makes me worried for control of the stage now. If Leon manages to slip off on how well he can control the base platform, down tilt's going to be able to safely reach a lot of ledge play, and also if Leon's trying to get cheeky with his play. And Zero gets a lot off that down tilt. So it's something he's going to have to be respected. Oh, he's going super deep? Who the? What who happened? does that? Honestly, they were both just he's going it for a second. <laughs> was it, is he about to reset the situation? No, he wants to hold on to this percent. It's not that bad of a deficit. That was such a strange interaction with the side beat into the stage, leading into the Flying Fortress. Very weird play, racked up plenty of damage. And I feel like it's worth noting now that Juice is doing a much better job of keeping the damage differential super tight between these two. And because of that, we've got a dead even game. And honestly, Bowser going for that fire breath off stage, usually a strong option against people who try to eat their edge guards. But because he was in hit lag afterwards and Juice is able just to hop over him with the flip jump, able to get the spike and he died for it. But spawn in back air, it works, dude. Sometimes it does. There we go, Leon, 51%. You see Juice trying to keep him at arm's length with these Zares. Doesn't want to go, get, go off too ham. Doesn't want to risk it. Up B, is that going to kill? Short no, ceilings. I mean, 
It wasn't even a zoom in. Short ceilings, Short man. Ceilings, Doesn't matter dog. how good I mean, your DI is, you're good as dead. That counter pick might not have been the strongest option. Here we go. Juice bringing it back. Game five. Winner of this moving on to winner's semis. The, the find out our last winner semis combatant. Just, just as a refresher, guys, we got uh, Dark Wizzy fighting off against Jackal right now, so I guess they're still tr trying to decide that one. Oh, this Jersey crowd can't catch a break, yeah. man. They're shaking from one end to the other. But we also got Shoyo James and Wishes sitting up there. Winner of this is off to fight Wishes. Where are the top four, you ask? They're, 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 they're having a party in the lower bracket, man. Here we go, Pokemon Stadium 2. A pretty, pretty okay stage for Bowser, honestly. You got those two platforms, allows him to go for the side. Honestly, if he can exit side B from anyone on the stage, as long as he can control it, he'll probably have it on a platform. And that's I, exactly what he wants. I think the stage overall is a, is a gamble from Leon, because typically speaking, what we've seen a lot of zero soon out of in the current meta is laterally oriented combos. A ton of play with forward air, Zare, neutral air, drag them to the corners, and they get killed with flip kill. But we haven't seen that out of Juice in this play. We've seen a lot more traditional zero suit play with laddering and such. I feel like if Juice adjusts his play, he can make Pokemon Stadium 2 into his own. But if Leon keeps him tight on his feet, we may have a fairly even battle on our hands. It's just very unique movement at the, the ledge right now. It's keeping him alive and good DI on top of that. Now he's sitting at 113 again. This could be an opportunity for Leon to go for that side B again. Back here at a shield. Jab in the side B? Jab mix up, bro. We back in Smash 4. It's finally time. I actually have never seen Bowser do that in this game yet. That was incredible. They just brought it back up B. Two stocks apiece. Honestly, the adaptation from these two players throughout this set has been marvelous to watch. We're seeing so such good play from both of them. And it's such an odd matchup. Honestly, this is not something I expected. Zero Suit versus Bowser. Not in a million years, dude. Here we go, gets the forward air into the grab, guaranteed damage. Brings up to 56. That's why Bowser looks for the forward air so early on in the percents, because he gets so much mileage out of it. Catches him swinging, just goes for the grab. Ooh, a back air trying to call out a jump there. And a good call out of that, but Juice has stayed incredibly varied with how he's mixing up the pressure. That was a sick stun gun. He got the tech, in, uh, tech roll in. Manages to catch it. Juice so ready to damage. squeeze out here, man. Even catching an air dodge. Knows he's not at the percentages just yet. He's not going to have the blast zones to play around with like he did in Yoshi's Island. Yeah, and Leon had to go for that ledge immediately to recover his jumps. He has to get his resources back. Okay, avoiding these stairs. And he just throws it out. Whatever, I, you're going to duck right here? I'm going to fastball this back here, and I'm going to make you one stock away from being central losers. Here we go. And it's trying it to poke. It is worth noting that this point of the bracket, the loser's bracket, is a death sentence. Regardless of how good these players are. It didn't matter that he recovered high. Juice had all options covered, brought him back, stops it under the ground. One sock piece again. Final stocks. Here we go. The crowd is erupting. They want their boys to win. Leon versus Juice. It's such a stressful situation for both of these players. But look at how well Juice is controlling field now. He's forcing a lot of approach out of Leon, and Leon's starting to run out of options. Forward air, I think, has burnt its mileage now that Juice is knowing what to contest with. The but range? A grab. The spacing! Leon! Back air you read. got it! You and got just it. like that, the pop-off. Let him know, King. New Jersey is here in this top eight. That back air calling him out completely not even expecting the game to end at that precise moment. Manages to throw it out, gets the drop kick going on him. You know what, we got a Bowser in winner's top eight, winner's side. A tournament where Nairo, DeBuzz, Lights, and Mars are all sitting in loser's side. Bowser, reigning supreme. That was, I, I could not believe that he outspaced that. Let's watch that back here one more time. There it is, you thought you were safe? Nah. And an excellent pop off right afterwards. No, I he, could, that, oh. he did the tri state thing, the tri state time. punch. Devin, one more time for me, dog. I just want to see that in slow mo. Uh. The tri state yes. Gatling punch is my favorite pop off. Every tri state player does this. They get the win. Oh. Locked and loaded. Ba -ba. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Yo, Devin, ba -ba. let me see that grab one more time. I want to see that grab one more time. The whiff grab. Please, sir. The whiff grab. Can I have some? Yeah, just one more. One more time. Like oh, second to last dog. Oh, I'll just see yeah, okay. This right here. Right here. Bam. That's all I want. That's all I want to do. Like, peace out. 
Yo. You just, I can't, and I cannot believe you spaced that. That been, was a decider. The fact that he avoided that grab. He was able to put him this into has that been precarious such a situation. chaotic t top 32. I, I don't even have words for just how great of a top eight this is going to be. Uh, well, I do. It's going to be fantastic. Doesn't, it honestly, doesn't do it justice. <laughs> you're right. Doesn't do it justice. Honestly, you're right. Your top eight is about to have either a Mario or a Pichu and a Wolf. Wolf sort of becoming the premier top tier of certain parts of the tri-state area alongside Palutena. And I know how desperately viewers at home wanted to see Wolf, Palutena, Pichu sitting in their top. That's all they wanted to of see. Of course, man. Of course. Everyone loves consistency. But no, son, we got a Bowser, we got a Chrom, we got Pokemon Trainer, and potentially a Mario.